I'm gonna make a video on this uh, comment from one of these girls on my Facebook. <clears throat> this girl is from uh, Eastern Washington, which is my hometown, which is a conservative area, which I miss a lot moving to liberal Seattle, which when I was growing up in this conservative area, I thought, my, I thought that I was a liberal. And I might have liberal tendencies uh, or liberal proclivities, but when, when I actually moved to Western Washington, which is highly liberal, one of the biggest liberal hubs in the country, um, and I saw how they really were, I didn't really want to be a liberal anymore. <laughs> so I sort of ended up being a centrist and so, sort of an independent libertarian type, um, which obviously there's problems with both sides, but that's not what this video is about. So anyway, I, I remember living in that conservative area. There was a lot of hoes, and it's a young, young city, um, you know, young girls in a conservative city stand out a little bit more because a conservative city you know is not accepting of like random sex which is why if you're ever in seattle western washington you realize like even portland you know girls they're they're really happy here because no one cares if they're a hoe right in in, in liberal areas nobody cares but when you have a conservative area morals matter so we a female living in seattle it's just normal for her to be a hoe now i'm not saying they don't have regret about the past they might but it's just a different ball game so anyway let me get into this comment so the, just a little bit of background like i said this woman this girl is from she's like 24 i, I think around there and she's a young single mom and she's from eastern washington which is conservative and she got a restraining order on her ex and i don't know if he beat her up i don't know the story there so i'm not saying that she abused the state's system for having a restraining order i really don't know the circumstances but i do know about a lot of cases where women do abuse the domestic violence laws meaning they just want to get revenge or they they, they don't want the father to be around the baby they 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 don't like the father anymore and they they regret their choices and so they they use the state in order to ostracize and separate themselves from the father by by abusing the domestic violence laws that, that those things do happen um i'm not going to get too in too much into that but but that does happen you can look that up um I don't know exactly what happened here, I, I, so I can't really comment on that and say whether or not she was right for, for getting a restraining order against the father. But again, this girl is on my Facebook, and so the background is that, you know, she did get a restraining order against the baby, and she she has a baby with a man that she now can't see because of a restraining order, and so she's going through a lot of regret, and she makes posts about how she's going through regret and all this, that, and the third. And it's like, yeah, okay, well, yeah, you made your bed, now you got to lie in it. And so she makes this post. I'm not too proud to admit the consequences I deal with today are because in the past I was focused on the wrong things. Okay, well, I appreciate that. That's why I highlighted it. I appreciate that comment because that's a that's a repentant comment. That's a That's a comment where you're taking responsibility for your actions in the past. Granted, there are a lot of women who do not take responsibility for their actions in the past and they they're not willing to admit they were wrong so i appreciate this first comment or this first sentence of this comment had i made better decisions and did what was good for me my life would be better all right you know you're you're you have a repentant heart so i was like so far so so far so good i learned a little late but i learned and I'm on board now. I'm grateful to my parents for giving me a childhood in which I was cared for. I'm grateful that they were always secure and instilled those values in me. So I think she means that they gave her security and instilled secure values in her. Something I don't really understand that sentence. But anyway, I actually appreciate how tough my father is on me to this day. So even though her parents gave her some values and even though they they had security they had money she still went out and she was still a hoe so don't think just because you have kids and and you have money and, and you you even try to raise them right that society can't get them or their own you know 
proclivity towards bad things won't get them because it will it, it still will it still can I'm not saying it will but it still can so you never know I actually appreciate how tough my father is on me to this day I'm ready to find myself back on the other side with my child and parents I can't walk amongst people who are complacent being broken so it sounds to me like, and this was a problem that I had growing up there, was that you get in with certain people and particularly in a small, like a small slash big city, um, you get into people who, you get in with people who are doing bad things and they're not going the right direction and um, you can fall down some dark roads. And that is kind of what happened to me. Now that's one benefit of a big city is it depends on the type of city, but if it's so big that that people don't really group together, then it's possible that you can skip a lot of bad stuff. But that doesn't mean a lot of bad stuff still doesn't happen. So in a sense, I think she's sort of blaming her decisions on her friends or the people that she was with who were complacent. Now she's looking back and she's like, oh, it's the fault of the friends and not my own fault. But I, I'll give her some leeway because I I grew up in the same city and I, I sort of understand that it's easy to get sucked into um, you know what what your friends are doing and trying to do what your friends are doing and if your friends are out being little hoes or your friends are out being little hoodlums it's easy to go be a hoe or be a hoodlum too so I'll give her some leeway on that so this isn't a terrible comment this isn't terrible like I I, I appreciate this somewhat for what it is. She's she's repentant. She's saying what you know what I did was wrong, and I, you know I kind of went against my parents. Um, and you know even though they gave me a good childhood, I still went out and did some bad things. So I think I think she's I think this is a pretty good comment. I think this is like a pretty good realization. Unfortunately, now she's got a kid for the rest of her life. And she's kind of sad about it. And she's like, damn, I don't think I want this kid. I don't think I want, I, I, I didn't want this and this is what happened. And and mind you, this kid is like one. <laughs> like, I've, like I've seen the pictures of the kid, it's like one. I think it's a boy. He's like one. And she just got a restraining order against the father and that is fucked up, right? So... Even though she's repentant here, blah, 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 now, but, you know, now she's got to deal with that kid for the rest of her life and, and the father that she doesn't want to be around. So that's a, that's a consequence. You know, she said, I'm not too proud to admit the consequences I deal with today are because in the past I was focused on the wrong things. So she's admitting she's dealing with some consequences. Now she's got a kid that she's got to raise, you know, where the father's not in the picture. And... um She's probably not very happy with it, you know? She didn't go out, and this is what happens when you be a hoe a lot of times. You get pregnant, you know? Um, yes, you can, you, can, you can use contraceptives. Yes, you can get on the pill, which you should, but a lot of times these girls are too dumb to even do that. You know, a lot of times they don't even plan, you know? Or, or, or a worst case scenario, they want to get pregnant. And I've seen that a lot too. These girls go out being hoes and they don't even care who the father is. They just want a baby. And that's what happens a lot of times. And then they just, they end up using the state, the welfare system or whatever. I think that's somewhat abuse. If you're just going out, if you're not planning and you're just saying, oh, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, the state's going to take care of me or whatever. You just want a baby because you want a baby. You know, I don't think that's that's what happened to this girl. I think it was unplanned and unwanted. Um, but she decided to keep it. She didn't give it up for adoption. She didn't ha she didn't have an abortion. So, you know, so she said, H had I made better decisions, and did what was good for me, my life would be better. So she seems like she's very repentant. She's like, I, I get it. I'm I, I'm my life. The the bad things I'm dealing with today, and the shitty things I got to go through with this kid and. And, and the dad are because the, are because of the choices that I made. So she's taking responsibility. This is something that's kind of rare, right? I learned a little late, but I learned. So at least, even though she did some bad things, at least she admits that she, that she's wrong. At least she admits that the bad things that she's dealing with today are because of her own behavior. And I, and I would probably attribute that to her parents. She, she you know she says here in a couple sentences later that her parents actually gave her values. And, uh, 
you know, she grew up securely. So at least that goes, uh, you know, some ways, at least that, 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 you know, probably is what contributes to her at least admitting that, that the life she lives now is wrong. Like if she, if her parents were worse, she probably wouldn't even take responsibility. If her parents were worse, she, you know, she didn't have a good childhood growing up. She probably would blame somebody else or she wouldn't even blame. She'd just be like, okay, this is my life. That's what a lot of these girls do. They just get pregnant. And it's like, yes, that's, you're not raising a kid in a good environment. A kid needs a father, a kid needs a secure life. And you're not giving the kid that. And they probably wouldn't even admit that if they didn't have a, if she didn't have a better childhood.